G'day, g'day. Um, just checking you can hear me. You got me loud and clear? If you can, just uh, just let me know, please. Yes, yes, you can hear me by the look of it. It looks like you can. There's always a little bit of a lag here. I look, I a couple of things, guys. I want to cover a couple of things. All right. Let's uh, let's do this. Hello. All right. First things first. I went to an event last night in Western Sydney. Uh, first time to Penrith. There you go. New experience for me. Bit of an adventure, and I made it home all right. For all of those of you that were there, lovely to meet you all. Had a, I really enjoyed it actually. I had a really, um, really good time. A lot of really, really good questions there as well, and um, a much more mature crowd, which I appreciate. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about a little bit here, as well as obviously we're going to have a look at the market. Don't worry about that. We, we are going to have a look at the market. One of the things that's really been annoying me lately is um, seeing and hearing, more so not saying, but more so hearing the stories of people that have been um, conned. Uh, you know, uh, hearing people that say, oh, I follow this person and, and this happens and they blame that person. Okay, that's, that's, that's something that pisses me off big time. It's your responsibility, number one. You start blaming anyone for anything, well, you're never going to have any success because it's up to you. Um, number two is the fact that they're listening to people without really researching what these people are and what they do. Um, social media is a cesspool, all right? Yes, I'm involved in it. Uh, not in the cesspool. <laughs> I'm involved in, in, uh, in social media. One of the things that, that really, really, really frustrates me is that just because somebody's got a lot of followers, um, it means that they've got more respect, okay? Um, which is just utter nonsense. It's utter, utter crap. Uh, and people are not digging into the background of these people they're following, all right? So I want to make this way. I just, I just recorded a podcast which is much more angry <laughs> than this conversation. Now I've calmed down some. Well, I had to get it off my chest. But um, just because somebody... Here's the perfect analogy. All right, I'm a fisherman, right? Boats attract boats. So you go out to the reef and you're driving it and you go, oh, look, there's a cluster of boats over there. There must be a lot of fish there. Mm -mm. There's just a lot of boats there. So people get driven towards that social proof of, oh, if there's lots of people here, then it must be good. Incorrect. The people that go out and do their own thing will find their own spot and probably catch more fish. So it's about being a leader. It's about, I mean, look, I've got nothing against you being on social media and learning from people. Not at all. It, it, look, it's a powerful tool and there's some great information out there, but there's more crap than there is good. And you, I mean, here's some things to look out for. One, research the person's background. What have they done in the past? Are they an intelligent person? Are they someone who's just lucky? Somebody who's sitting back swearing and carrying on like a pork chop? Am I going to listen to them? No, not interested at all, all right? Um, and it's not just about the swearing language, it's about how they talk, what they talk about. Somebody who's out there putting other people down. Uh, have a look at what they do across the internet. Are they putting people down? Are they good for the space? Are they bad for the space? Most of the stuff out there right now is really, really bad, okay? People that, uh, that get listened to a lot, they're bad, okay? Just because there's a lot of people following them doesn't make them good. So start to think about who you're following. Cull the people that you know now are not going to help you, all right? This is your team. This is your network. You've got to be careful who you listen to. You, got, you can listen and learn, or you can follow and fail. And it's until you decide to make that decision and take responsibility for your own actions, you've got no chance. You've got no chance. Anyway, rant done. 
the other thing I'm going to pull the charts up now. The other thing that frustrates the hell out of me is that so many of you are not trading. Um, now, look, I, I'm not, I can't make you be a trader. All right, <laughs> I'd love to. Um, and people say, oh, "Look, I, I don't think I, I've, I'm cut out for it. I don't want to be a trader. I don't." But what I do see from these same people is they are spending time online. They are spending time looking at the charts. They are spending time buying, selling. They are spending time in the market. It's better that you use that time well spent. You're going to do it anyway. Learn how to do and move within these markets. Look, let me show you something. Again, this comes back to the event that I was at last night. I was asked, Craig, how was your 2018? It was bloody awesome. Thanks for asking. Because look, this was 2017. Up we go. Yay. Yay. That's awesome. We love that. Yay. This was 2018. Yay, yay, traders love that. Why? Because we went down nearly as far as we went up. I couldn't give two shits whether you go up or down. Trading efforts rob me over and over. Okay, questing, do you know what you're doing? That's the difference. There is trading and there is gambling. Big, 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 big difference. Give me your reasons, guys. Let's open up a dialogue here. Tell me why you don't trade. And let me see if there's any legitimacy to that. Because you're missing out on, on, the, vol on <laughs> the other side of this coin. This market goes up fast. This market goes down fast. I know how to make money both directions. Why don't you? Oh, <laughs> it really frustrates me. It's here for you. <laughs> Bitmex, Bitfinex, they're there. They're, they're, they're awesome. Well, they could, they could be a lot better, let's be honest. But they've got the ability for you to make money in either direction. It frustrates me that you're not doing it. I can't make you do it. I just, I want to, I want to challenge you. I want you to try. I want you to get involved. No, tr trading. Okay, questing. Trying. Uh -uh, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. I can try to run 100 meters in 10 seconds, or I can train and train and train and get a coach and do my stretches and work hard at it. Buggy, you're trying. Start learning. Okay, trying is not the answer. Doing is the answer. And too many people are not doing. Okay, here's a good one. I'm too scared. Don't, I don't understand the charts and I get overwhelmed. What's the difference between you driving a car and not driving a car? I was scared shitless when I started, started to learn to drive a car. What was the, what bridged the gap between, you know, me having a coffee, speaking on the mobile phone, changing gears and sort of, do, you know, what, what changed? I was taught by somebody how to drive a car. The only difference between where you are now and where you would like to be on a skill set is education. Dead set, that's it. There really isn't a good learning tool or guide to leverage trading on BitMEX. Once again, incorrect. There is, you're just looking in the wrong places. Uh, is there, a, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude here, by the way, I'm just, I, I'm being brutal because it's, it's, it's really getting me annoyed that people are following idiots and they're not able to trade. Um, is there a science to trading or is it a game like chess where everyone knows what the rules are based on the setup? TA itself fulfilling. Um, it depends how you trade. Uh, I trade with rules. I, I got a structured set approach with literal checklist, di, 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 literal checklist rules, all right? It depends how you set it up. I don't have emotion in it. I follow checklists. I structure it in a way that, uh, that works for me. It's as simple as that. Other people do other things. I can only talk to the way I do it. Um, I'm, I'm methodical. Is Bitfinex or now Cumex? I haven't used Cumex. Bitfinex and Bitmex are fine. I like this hard truth cop. Thanks, Mr. Squiggle. I've just, I've just sick of hearing people fail, uh, and they don't need to. It, it's just honest. Yeah, invest into education. Where, where do I look if you want to help people? Just go to my website. It, it, and there's, there's heaps of free stuff. There's heaps of free stuff. I appreciate your perspective. Where are you learning to trade? Mate, I've spent 13 years trading with mentors all around the world. I'm not learning anymore. Um, I'm, I'm just doing now. Um, what I'm doing is trading. What I'm also doing is helping others to understand how to operate within the best market I've ever traded in my life. Um, no one ever answers the question on how to use BitMEX because it's not a question you can answer. It's a video tutorial, okay? Um, you go long, you go short, you use stops. There you go, there's your answer. But if you wanna learn how to use it, then go get that. We've got that, all right? Uh, why does TA work? Um, because it's human emotion plotted on a chart. It's, that's what it is. I mean, you, if you, let me show you this on the weekly, right? 
I use the cradle zone. Now, most of you will have heard about the cradle zone. No secrets here. Uh, 10 and 20 period moving average. Look, when price pulls in, it moves. In, moves. In, moves. In, moves. In, moves. In, moves. So and so on and so forth. In, moves. In, moves. In, moves. So on and so forth. It's, um, it's just the way markets cycle. Um, you know, each time it's pulled back in on the 2017 run, it's moved again. Now, the average pullback is 35.25% through 2017. The average run to the upside is 207.75%. Uh, TA works because human emotion is there. It will always be there uh, until we have AI take over and human beings don't trade anymore. We will, not, we will still see these patterns. That's why it works. Um, where are the tools? Are they only on your subscription? Uh, no, th look, you can go through YouTube and find it as well. Um, we're, we're, I'm putting together a whole bunch of new stuff as we're, we're doing this tour around around Australia at the moment, then we're going worldwide. Uh, we're, yes, it's all going to be in the members area. And for those that have gone through my training, you'll see that soon, more of it. We've already got videos there, but we're going to have it all in one section so it's easy to understand and learn. Um, uh, but they, look, you don't have to use me. That, I'm not suggesting you need, you need to use me. Go out there and find it, okay? Um, it's, it's, you know, BitMEX have their own write down of, of how to do it. It's not very difficult. It takes a little bit of time. Just trade real small and learn. Just get used to it. I started off trading crypto like the stock market, building a good portfolio and holding long term, but it's really not like that, is it? No. Um, another thing is that the misconception about trading is that you've got to be there every day. No, you don't. Um, you know, let's go back to 2017. I was getting out 12.5. My last sell was 15.8. I didn't get the top. Didn't need to. I take the chunk in the middle. Now, the, uh, the thing is, is that if people that went, oh, I'm rich. No. <laughs> um, if they held Bitcoin, they're sitting pretty right now, but most are holding alts. Well, lots are holding some alts. We'll never get back because they're crap. They're rubbish. And they're basically just, you just funded their project. Well done. Um, look, I got a few too. Don't get me wrong. I'm, you're not in it alone. But I guess my point is, even if you don't wish to be actively trading, you've got to, look, you've got to know what to look for to get out. You've got to take some profits. Uh, do you think TA works better in a market compromised, a comprise of professional traders compared to a market of noobs like crypto? No, humans are humans. Uh, I've I've actually got much better results in crypto because of the ex insane volatility. Uh, case in point, what was it um, a couple of weeks back? One of my um, apprentices uh, got. Let me show it to you. Got I took the breakout at eighty nine eight thousand eighty nine back here. One of my apprentices got that uh, that. <laughs> little tiny cradle trade and he called me when I was in Noosa up here and said copy what do I do I've got a 98 to 1 profit so what that means and, and this is this is another thing about trading that I don't think people understand if you want to get a 100x trade um, or 100x um, token it needs to move a hundred times multiple of the price you buy it at in trading to get a hundred times your reward on your risk it needs to move a hundred times the multiple so if you've got um, if you've got a ten dollar stop and it moves a thousand dollars boom there's your 100 to 1. It happens frequently, it happens often, uh, and you're missing out if you're not involved in this market. Uh, a couple more questions. Uh, any starter course for people to learn from if someone can't afford your courses? Yeah, there's look, there's heaps of free stuff. It, there's heaps of free stuff on the website. There is heaps of free stuff. You, you, you don't need to pay me to learn, okay? If you wish to, good. If you don't, good. Up to you. There's heaps of free stuff. Go into free webinar and free courses. It's all there, it's all free. Thanks for the feedback on the podcast. What's worse, selling before a big move up or holding before a big move down? I don't know if either are worse. I think the worst thing is not learning. Um, if you don't learn from that, then um, I, I think that you know that's where the failure is. You're going to make mistakes. I'm, I make more. I make mistakes too. It's going to happen. That's that's part of learning. Um, yeah, it's got to be learning. Got to get back to work. No worries, brother. Hundred times long the corn. <laughs> Get long cob futures. Uh, BitMEX still a simulated trading platform, don't they? Good place to start. I'm not sure, actually. I, I just jumped in straight away. Um, they, they may do. If they do, then yeah, have a dabble. Have a play. Get used to it. You got that two-hour cradle too, Matt. Psh, good work, mate. Excellent trading. Um, now, let me come to the markets now because, you know, if you know who I am, you've been following me, listening to me, going, you know, I've been saying for a long time now, we need to see a fall. We need to see a pullback. We're finally getting it. Uh, Bybit, I haven't used Bybit. Uh, I know that they've got entry stop and ent entry and stop linked orders, but I need to see better volume. Um, okay, so here's the analysis. I use the BitMEX chart because that's where I trade from on Bitcoin. Look, here's my analysis, 32, 40, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that, that's how I average it all out. Now, look, 
back in the cradle, back in the cradle. The average is 35.25%. I've been speaking for a while now about needing that pullback, and I want it. I genuinely, genuinely want it. Why? Because the upside from the low point is 207% as an average. I want that 200, 207% upside. When the market pulls back, when the market pulls back, yeah, back, it gives me more confidence to trade more aggressively, to hold my runners for longer. I don't like trading a messy market like we have had. We, I believe, truly, I believe that we're looking between 8,800 down to possibly even 8,000. But I would suggest, you know, sorry, I would suggest, let me get rid of that. Because we haven't had a pullback on this entire run yet, not a proper one, we're looking at 344%. I wouldn't surprise me at all, and I would applaud this to see a deeper pullback, a 40% pullback. So 8,200, between 88 and 82, we could even tap 8,000 if we get a real big selling off. It would not surprise me at all. I want to see that. Do not throw your toys out of the pram. Do not get nervous. Do not get scared. It's what we need, okay? Now, it doesn't matter whether this would be the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, um, you know, Euro against the dollar, uh, Apple, a chart's a chart if you know how to read them. Without a pullback, what do you, if you really think markets are going to go up forever in a straight line, wake up. You're wrong. Okay, They do not work that way. You can see. We need that pullback. If you don't know how to make money when the market falls, then you are missing 50% of what this amazingly volatile market has to offer. And it's on you. Why would you not learn to do it? And it's not overly complex guys you need a strategy you need a routine you need discipline you need risk management go and work it out or go and get someone to help you work it out why do i think fibs work is there any book you found good no books are good apart from uh, i like reading books on experiences from traders Uh, i've read a lot of books when i was starting out and uh, none of them helped me they all gave me analysis paralysis too many ideas didn't help Uh, the new market wizards is a really good book trading in the zone is a really good book um, they're the two I sort of, they're my, I guess, go-to books because it's more about listening to the experiences of other traders or learning about the psychology of what it takes to be successful um, long-term. Um, yeah, I mean, I teach three strat- trading strategies. It's the three I've been using for the last, I haven't, I haven't tinkered with these strategies for nine years. and I've traded them across all markets, all right? That's how I've been able to slide straight into crypto and, and do really well because it, it's just, it just works. Um, there's no more to say to it. Yeah, that's right. Knowing the strategies that I use, it, it, it does make you excited for pullbacks. Look at this market right now on the daily. As it was here, right? We saw this higher, lower, higher, high. When I saw this candle, I said, this could like this, this could be our lower high. Now, I'm not hindsighting this. You can go and check it yourself. You, you can go and look through my content. I, I couldn't care less. I, I'll tell you when I have a losing trade. I'll tell you when I have a winning trade. And I'll tell you when I missed a trade. All right? I, I, do not, I do not lie. I do not bullshit. I do not need to do that. We have fallen. Okay, look at this for an absolute doozy of an opportunity. Pull back into the cradle zone right there. Bit of Fibonacci in there as well by the look of it. Boom, right in there. Guess what? Round number also off of that level. Textbook, perfect, strong move, profit, cradle trade, 101. Now, I didn't take that trade. Why didn't I take that trade? Because I was over at an event in the western suburbs. <laughs> so um, I talked to that trade, actually, that setup. I wasn't there because I, I couldn't take that trade because I was on stage presenting, all right? Bugger, right? But it was there. And those that know how to trade the strategies know that it was there. And it was clear. You know, even the double on the four hour, look, boom, boom, opportunity there. You could have got short, bang, right there on the break of that level. This is not rocket science. It's the, distant, the difference between where you're at and where you want to be, the bridge is education. Just do it. Okay, uh, finally get to see you live. I had a really good short on Bitcoin. Time to buy back in. Ooh, look, do what you will, but follow the trend for the time being. Off to bed in Chicago. No worries, mate. And um, where are we going? I think we're going lower. Uh, we've got a lower high here. We've broken this point, a lower low. Bring it on. Let's go deep. Let's get nice and deep back into here. I want to see this at 8,000 or 8,200. Buying the dip is what people say when they don't know how to trade. That's okay. That's okay. At least you're showing you've got no idea. That's fine. Why buy the dip? Where's the dip? You know, buy the. They're saying buy the dip here. 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 Uh, buy the dip. Why not? Hmm. Save your money. If you if you don't want to learn to trade, 
then walk away from the market when it's in a downturn. Walk away. Walk away from the market in a downturn. All right? And then wait for there to be some evidence. Now, again, you can go through and witness this. I was talking about this level through here for a very long time, suggesting if we broke up through there, we started, we would look very strong to 6,000. Higher low, higher high, weekly turnaround. That's the point the order should be. Not buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Learn. Learn what to look for. Learn to look for reversals. Learn to time your entries. <laughs> Fired up. Fired up. There's so much more you guys could be doing out there, doing a lot better. Um, yeah, so it's important, guys. By the way, at least you're showing you have no idea. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, look, if you think I'm grumpy, look, that, that's fine. I'm not grumpy, I'm passionate. Uh, I'm sick of seeing people fail. I'm sick of seeing people that are not interested in learning. Um, that if, if you tune into what I've been doing for a long time, I've been calling these markets very accurately for a long time. Yet people are out there following somebody who's got 100,000 people on YouTube who have no idea. Um, it, it does annoy me because it's affecting the lives of you guys. It it, it does annoy me. It, it really, really does. And I'm not doing this as, oh, I've got enough followers. I, I, I don't. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to open your eyes for you to think logically. I see this as a business trading. Start to think um, start to think about you running your own business and what sort of people you need on your team. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, guys. Look, I, I just wanted to get that point across. I've been on here long enough. Um, I think it's in, I think it's just so important for you maybe to reconsider some of the people that you're following, that you're listening to, that you're taking advice from. Um, maybe cull that list a bit more. Uh, you know, think about this. Somebody who's 55 years old who's got a couple of million dollars and these are the people that are coming into crypto now, okay? Uh, are they going to be listening to some of the people that you're watching on YouTube right now? Or are they going to be looking for somebody who's smart, who thinks logically and who's got some experience in markets? If you think that that person's not going to be following them, then you shouldn't be either because these are the people that are going to make the decisions for the next bull run. That's a little gift for you. Have a fantastic day. And um, yeah, check it out. If you want to know more, find it, tradercob.com. It's there for you. There's heaps of free stuff. Don't be afraid, okay? Shorting the market and using margin is not scary when you learn. Have a fantastic day, guys. I appreciate your comments and your feedback. And um, hopefully we can, uh, we can work together in some capacity down the track. Love to you. Do well. Catch you later.